Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode on a large, large world. So many butterflies, so many crap. Why, why are there so many butterflies? Uh, we are on our way to see the dryad that we uh, got from the last episode to see what they sell. What do you guys sell? Or what, what do you sell, uh, Allura? Uh, you guys sell purification powder, grass seeds. Grass seeds are actually going to be helpful. Uh, some flowers. Acorns, dirt rods, magically moves dirt. Why not? Pumpkin seeds, grass walls, flower walls, day bloom planter box, and blink root planter boxes. These planter boxes we're actually going to be buying for our uh, our uh, crops, our farm crops on the one area that I spoke about, uh, but not right this second. Um, we are going to sell off that mushroom and the day bloom and the seeds. Not that seed. We need to go away. I am trying to talk to the dryad right now. Uh, by the way, what is the status? 1.3 large, by the way, that's the name of the world. Is 3% crimson, you are so close. Uh, oh yeah, uh, she does tell you the status of uh, how much crimson or corruption or hollow there is in the world. Uh, we'll get to the uh, crimson corruption hollow thing a bit later on. Um, that is a hard mode thing. Um, we are going to buy some of this purification powder, by the way. And we are actually going to head off to the Crimson area, the magical, magical Crimson area, uh, without any torches, because I am an idiot, and also without the 12 lenses, because I haven't actually gone to make the uh, suspicious looking eyes either. And I quick stack stuff and they put it all back in there. Um, let's loot everything in there, and, uh, oh, by the way, there's also a trophy we can get from the, uh, Ai Cthulhu that, uh, we killed off the last episode, uh, that he, unfortunately, did not drop, so. Alright, let's put that in there, and these in there, just because we can, and then, uh, I'm gonna put those on the ground for the moment, and then just deposit everything else. No room in that chest. No room in that chest either. Okay, I don't think we need three harpoons. They're not even a material and probably not even a weapon I'm going to be using. Alrighty. Let me go ahead and put the slime hook in there. Alright. Danelle, you can have those harpoons and whatever they're worth. I don't want any of them. Alright, we have enough gold to get our very first platinum coin on this game. Uh, platinum coins are 100 gold each. Um, they also apparently do range damage. I'm not sure what fires these coins, but uh, there is something that uses them as ammo somewhere. <laughs> somewhere along the line, they are used as ammo. Uh, we can go ahead and put that in there and that. Oh, we apparently got two sign hooks. I didn't even notice. Ah, uh, more platforms there. Eh, the rest I'll keep on me for the moment. Uh, except for this here. Oh, we should be able to get rid of uh, a couple of those as well. These breathing rods I actually got from the, uh, water chests. Uh, they can go in there. Actually, question. Uh, so this is... That's how far the range goes now, if I have that item in my inventory. Okay, so this actually does have to be equipped then. Yes, yes it does, and it actually does not give that much more range. Uh, I'll actually want to give the yo-yo a try. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll put the string away for a future date. Uh, the seeds can be put away as well. Uh, the shackles and whatnot can be sold off because uh, we, we we don't we just don't need that many of them. Alrighty. Um, anything else here I am wanting to sell? And uh, the answer to that question is it does not seem like it. Not at this time, anyway. Except for those. And you want to sell the bow? It's tungsten. It's not that hard of a remake if I wanted it again. Uh, oh, and we could probably get rid of those glass ball, uh, glass ball blocks as well. We don't need those on us. Okay. Uh, marble platforms, I suppose we can throw in there along with those. Alrighty, that, that, that should be more than plenty. Uh, let, you, let, let's, let's, let's stop wasting time and actually head over there now. Really great way to clear out terrain. All the 
grass one up. There he is. I like it. I love it. Oh, uh, let's let's actually make sure we trash those because I don't want to. I don't want those to interfere with the potions at all. Um, there is a specific ordering that uh, items get used in. I think it's hot bar first, and then closest to the top left corner. Oh no, it's been so long that uh, I don't quite remember the exact ordering, but uh, I I'd just rather not have them be in the way. Oh, and I've also done more exploration on the Antlion Hill uh, between last episode's previous segments. Um, and there, there there really is nothing down there at this time, and I don't know if there's anything that's going to be there in uh, the future, or later on in the game. We'll, we'll have to see. Uh, so, for the Brain of Cthulhu to spawn, uh, just like the Eater of Worlds in a uh, corrupt world instead of a crimson world, um, first off, we gotta get there. Um, those three, uh, well, those hearts I was destroying before, they, uh, three of those have to be destroyed in order to cause one to summon um, from them. Um, I, if you remember correctly, I had only destroyed two of them, uh, so we should be one away from out, uh, one away from one of them spawning on us. And as far as I'm aware, they are fairly difficult to defeat, but we we will give it a go uh, and see how it actually handles. And if it's any indication on how much I'm getting hit already, uh, it's probably not going to handle that well, and we'll probably end up dying. Uh, so. Be aware of that. We do have a piece of gold on us, but uh, I'm, I'm okay if that if we end up losing that. I'm not even bother getting out one potion. It's only one potion. We have plenty of, uh, of them on us. There's an altar there. There's something up there. It looks like at one point that I saw. Okay, let's see. We need to die. Oh, oh, oh. We need to die as well. Ah, there's one right there. Uh, I was going to use this purification powder to show you something really quick, though. Uh, you see these uh, blocks here? Now they're regular stone, and we can actually mine through them. Uh, because at our current pick tier, we cannot mine through those, and that's why I was using the dynamite last time. Uh, but since this one is here, we can actually go ahead and just destroy it. Uh, what do we get? Crimson rock. Oh! Uh, here is Brain of Cthulhu. He is the brain of Cthulhu and so far destroying the heck out of me. Ow, ow, okay, this guy hurts. This guy really hurts. And holy crap. Okay. Huh. Well, those things are actually cold creepers. Okay, Th this must be what I was getting confused with. Um. Well. Um, that happened. I died. Uh, is he still over there? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, what did we get? A uh, magic item summons a cloud of rain to, uh, to rain blood on your foes. Oh, I see. Uh, so here's a question. Do I need to break another three for him to spawn again, or will breaking another one uh, suffice, or maybe just being in the biome again? And why don't you go over the mountain? Uh, the, I, I, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll have to find out. Let's see, what do you go away? Demon Eye. Demon Eye, uh, that's what the name of those things are. I was trying to remember in the last episode. Hop over. Antline mandible. Antline dined up here at some point, apparently. I don't remember killing one, but uh, one did, apparently. Okay, um... Depending what all happens in there, I am going to probably spam some platforms around just so we have the mobility ability. And I need to remember about this dash, actually. Because uh, I, I didn't use it at all, and I honestly forgot about it. Uh, let's see, I would also like to have tried out this yo-yo. Can we try out the yo-yo on you? Ah. Seems 
to be decent. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give this another go. Hopefully we can actually do something this time. Uh, we don't have any one more, uh, any more 100 HP potions, so uh, and I gotta keep in mind about that. Uh, meaning, if I'm down 50 HP, uh, I need to use a potion immediately. Uh, like right now, I am, and I'm actually going to use a potion because I think we have a crap ton of them on us. And honestly, I like the laser better. Another meteorite has landed, by the way, because of we having destroyed another orb. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, if you destroy an orb or a uh, heart or whatever one you have. Uh, you have a 30% chance of spawning a meteorite that day, or uh, within the next 24 hours, I think, something like that. Alright, so, yeah, what I wanted to do was, um, actually create some platforms here just so we can navigate a bit. So we can get around and what have you, without having to worry about it too much. Because I, I, I feel navigation is definitely going to be a key thing in that fight. And not being bothered by all of the enemies in the world probably would help. Uh, these guys are not making it easy on me, are they? Uh, another option we have is trying to go up to the surface and doing the fight there. That might be better. Might be. Alright, let's see. Let's kill you off and let's go ahead and break this orb right here and we'll know for sure if we need to do it or not. Purification powder turns that stone, uh, crim crimtain or uh, so, I think it's called something like that. Uh, okay, so we do actually need to break three again. That is unfortunate. Um, that means that you can actually screw yourself over if you can't defeat him. Or maybe he has a chance to automatically spawn each day now. I don't, I don't know. All I know is I never usually have an issue with him, but uh, I think it's because we are on expert mode that uh, die really quickly. Man, slime, just go away! Alright, so this will be our second one. Uh, what do we get for that? Uh, Crimson Heart. Summons a heart to provide light. Okay. That, that is... That is an interesting thing. Already then. Go away, jellyfish. You deal like 43 damage to me last I knew, something like that. I don't need you screwing me over right now. Okay, if we were to destroy this third one here, uh, we would have to start fighting. Brand of Cthulhu again, and we are going to hold off on that for the moment for me to set up a, a uh, better arena design here and some more platforms and what have you. So give me a moment to do that. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I have a uh, circular arena set up here uh, for the fight, and I might do a few more modifications here to it just so I can where everything is around here. And not to get bothered by these guys as much, hopefully. By them just crawling out of the darkness. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just find that platform on over. And maybe I'll put one over here just in case I need to back off or something. Uh, you never know. Okay, 
I'm okay with the slimes being on screen. Uh, they only do so much damage to me anyway, but uh, here we go. Here we go again for another boss fight here. Ow. Okay, so it looks like these things have a range to them that they can go. That's interesting. And it looks like the brain of Cthulhu flies around randomly. Or is teleporting? Not entirely sure, we just need to keep our distance. Uh, let's try out this yo-yo thing. Not liking it, not liking it one bit. Oh, by the way, I also put some uh, fire uh, campfires around just so we can uh, use that for some health regen so we don't have to keep using potions all of the time. Uh, and it doesn't look like we can help out. Okay, it looks like I'm getting confused or something, because uh, they are causing me to go the opposite direction. I'm not seeing any sass at that point. Okay, looks like there is one of those creepers left. Let's pick up what we can. We got quite a few tissue sample, it looks like. Uh, ready? Okay, we destroyed it, and alright, now we can actually target the brain of the creeper. Ow! Ah. Oh. Okay. Are those fake ones that I'm seeing? Yeah, those are fake ones I'm seeing or something of the sort. You gotta play which one is the right one. Oh, ow, 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 ow! Nope, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You are hurting the heck out of me right now. Brain. Ow. Ow. No. No. 120 health. 120 health. By the way, I don't know what happened there. I ran out of mana or something, but the, the space gun stopped firing on me. Ah. That was so close. So close. Ah. Um, I don't know if there's enough of those, uh, hearts down here. There's, what, another three? Okay, so we do have another chance at least. Um, I think some potions might help. Uh, some better potions, more HP healthy potions. But we did get tissue samples, uh, from the creepers, I'm going to assume. So we can at least look at making the armor now, I suppose. Uh, yeah, the crimson armor. Um, it's 767, which is better than this by one on each, and I'm not sure what the modifier is on that. We must get a new pickaxe here, and the meatball? Uh, that's a hammer. Uh, let's make the pickaxe, just so we can get rid of our gold one. And let's see, we need 15, 35, 45 of the tissue sample for our on set here, but we are out of Crimtain bars, huh? Did not even realize that. Yeah, we are out of Crimtain bars. Um, uh, give me a moment to get some made up here, and or uh, get some crim uh, suspicious looking eyes made up here, and we can actually uh, farm some Crimtain ore from him, uh, since he does drop some. I will be right back as soon as I have all those preparations made, and this is another item we got, by the way, uh, from destroying one of those Crimson Hearts. The Rotted Fork. 21% damage, 20% knockback from Ruthless. So it does 17 melee damage with that bonus, and 6% crit chance. Um, oh, okay, it's a spear. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of spears, actually. Uh, they're, they're a bit too slow, in my opinion. But already. Let me go ahead and get all that prepped up for us to uh, go and use and maybe grind up some Crimtain ore again. Be right back. Alrighty, I had uh, defeated around nine or so Cthulhu's off camera and got the rest of the Crimtain ore to make the rest of the side. Um, it does additional increased damage, which. Sounds nice, I guess, on the surface. Uh, and I do gain one extra, uh, 
defense point with it. The sub bonus is greatly increased life regen, which sounds lovely as well. However, um, I was able to test it and had some issues doing the, uh, the recording I had done. I did not save at all properly, um, and it, it, it was corrupted uh, pretty much. And there was nothing I could do about it. Uh, I, I did test it out. I'm not a huge fan. Uh, the light, additional life regen is nice, but that one ad additional defense is not not worth the lack of just just being able to spam this gun over and over again. Um, it, it just isn't. So in the meantime, we are going to head down to. Oh, by the way, I did a bunch of camera. Uh, uh, I did a bunch of camera off work. Yeah, <laughs> bunch of work off camera. Uh, working on the mine shaft, just adding a background and whatnot to it uh, to make it all pretty looking. Uh, but I made a mention either earlier in this episode or the previous episode that I, we needed um, a mushroom biome for the glowing mushrooms. Uh, the, yeah, the glowing mushrooms. And here they are. This is the mushroom biome that I was talking about. You can see the background changed into a glowy. And a mu well, mushroom looking thing. I like it. Looks nice. Yeah, those glowing mushrooms are what we need to actually make these uh, healing potions as we look at one episode. Um, so, this is the biome that I found. It's very small and I have modified it just a bit, but not a whole lot. Uh, my purpose here is to essentially create uh, as much surface area for the glowing mushrooms to spawn as possible. Those are my intentions anyway. And I'm doing this via uh, knowing that these blocks here spread, the ones that I'm breaking, the grass covered ones. I kind of wish one of these bio uh, this biome was a bit bigger to show off what it really looks like once it gets to a certain size. It looks really awesome. I love it. Uh, but yeah, this is where we will be getting our glowing mushrooms from, and these are just kind of underground in the cavernous areas, uh, kind of sporadically, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they're just kind of there. Uh, they, oh, by the way, those blocks here, these are mud blocks. Uh, it's the only way those uh, transfer. You can also get grass uh, seeds here as well, uh, allowing you to transplant this grass to pretty much anywhere, uh, which I was luckily, lucky enough to have gotten a seed, I believe, a singular seed, I got a singular seed, but I'm not. Yes, mushroom grass seeds, one seed worth right there. Um, so we can actually go ahead and make our own little farm up here of the mushroom area. Oh, and I also need to get the marble blocks back, don't I? So I never did remake that. It's ceiling down there. Yeah. Never did. Alrighty. So I wanted the glowing mushroom farm to be over here uh, with the rest of the farms here. You can see on the map, by the way, just how big of an area this really is. Oh, what I really wish there was a, uh, a brighter torch or a brighter uh, light source that can light up most of this area. Uh, because as it stands right now, these are way too far apart to have a few torches here and there to really make it look bright. Um, I don't know. Something I wish there was. It's not necessary, but uh, it is something I would like. Uh, so let me grab 50 of those. Okay, so that is exactly 50 blocks. If we go from that side on over... 15. I, I want to know how much uh, I'm able to grow here. Um, and I believe 50 of these blocks on screen might actually cause a artificial biome to appear. Um, I'm actually going to hold off on my thing that's saved right now. So that, that is 50. Here is a total of 75 now. Uh, which means we would have... 
that as a wall. This here as a wall. Uh, it doesn't seem like a bad idea. Uh, because this would allow me to create a obsidian generator that I can just sit there and mine over and over again. Yeah, there should be plenty of room for obsidian generator. Alrighty. Uh, that, that, sh that should be fine. Um, and with that in mind then, we are going to go ahead and kind of put some torches down here. And then plant our seeds here. And not screw that up. Put another level above this. Spread. And this should provide plenty of glowing mushrooms uh, for our needs. Hopefully, anyway, hopefully. Uh, I need to leave that there, though, for the time being, so we can actually spread and jump over to here. Once it does, I can remove the, uh, that little bit. Yeah, um... Is there anything else I want to look at this episode? Not really. Not really. Um, we could actually make a few more potions, though. Uh, green, uh, healing ones. There are uh, greater healing potions, by the way. There's 150 ones, and there's also 200 life ones. Uh, the 150 ones actually don't work off of these. They are different ingredients combined all together. And I cannot say I remember them. Uh, the rest of you got them. Uh, let's make some glass bottles, shall we? Twenty six should be enough. Uh, if we head down over to here and can we make water bottle, bottle water, yeah. Okay, so the bottle of water is pretty much the basis to all potions. I guess uh, I guess this is what I'm going to be talking about for this episode. Bottle water is the basis for all potions and bottle water. And bottle water. Oh. Hollow corruption and crimson. What does it say? I don't say it well. Okay. Uh, yeah, here is greater healing potions. There stores 150 life. We need pixie dust and crystal shards for that. Uh, those are hard, more, hard mode materials from the hollow. Um, so we won't be able to get access to these for a while unless. Um, Unless I rush another character that part, I guess, and I, I don't know. Something weird, but uh, yeah, we can see all of the potions here. Battle potion. You can increase enemy spawn rates, huh? That's interesting. Water walking potions are through gravity, blah blah. blah. Cray, cray potions are actually useful. Oh, that is something else I've done off camera. Um, I, I did a bunch of fishing. That's about it. Oh, by the way, there's also this uh, Life Force version. It's pretty awesome. But, there's this Prismite, which I don't know where the heck to get that. Increases max life by 20%. Yeah. It's a nice potion. Uh, let, let, let's, let's actually head on down and look at our fishing box. Yeah, we got a golden crate. Let's open that up. We got Master Bait and the Greater Mana Potions. Two iron crates, we get ginger beer, ginger beer, uh, vanity item, healing potions, and journeyman bait, as well as another gin, uh, I think I got some more bait than that, as well as another ginger beer. We get toxin bars, mana potions, apprentice bait, copper ore potions, uh, gold, more bars, extractinator 10, and just some platinum bars to finish us off here. Okay, well, I expected something a little more fun than that, but uh, I can't have everything apparently. Let's check out this ginger beard. Is that another face item? It's, it's an accessory item apparently. Which has no visual appearance?
Okay, not not sure how that's supposed to show up then, but uh, okay. Yeah, not, if you know how that's supposed to show up on the player, let me know. Because I, I I have no idea. Uh, these mana potions might uh, these mana potions would actually come in use if I didn't have the uh, meter uh, equipped. Um. Uh, but that will be it for this episode. Yeah, uh, there is something else I want to touch upon right now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like. And I hope you guys are enjoying this series along with every other one that I do. And until next time, take it easy.